Hey, boo. It's Vlogmas 2018. Let's go. <laughs> All right, have a good little, a nice little situation. And then your husband come in and drop all of his hunting trip stuff on the floor. Yay. Favorite son. Doing what he likes to do best. <laughs> what you doing? Playing the game. What game? Fortnite. Johnny, Granny wants to speak to you. Okay. Hi, Granny. Hey, how are you today? Good. Mommy told me you want a suit. Oh, yes, I do. I want to take you to get you one. How about that? Can I do that? I, I think I'm done. Ammo. What's wrong? I ran out of ammo. <laughs> <laughs> it so. took an L. Did you take an L? I took a huge I'm about, I'm not buying nothing else for the Christmas tree. I'm not buying anything else. It's just done. Never buying anything else again. Christmas, we have enough. I'm not buying anything else. No, I'm it talking about for this tree. I'm talking about for the tree. I know for this tree. The tree downstairs, I'm just like, if it ain't, if that's just like Okay, so now, I'm about to, Order some food. My husband wanted roses. I was got, I took stuff out to cook, but um, it's it'll be a little bit later before I cook it. So this is kind of just lunch until I cook. Do you want the so I can help you? Um, I want a chicken fajita dinner. Okay. With all chicken. Oh, and then um, let me get four bean and cheese burritos. Anything else? Actually, you know what? Let me get two bean and cheese burritos. I'm sorry. Just two? Yeah. Anything else? Nope, that's it. 16, 10. Thank you. Okay, so I always get overwhelmed. <laughs> I ordered, so randomly, I'm just about to try, try this, this, this Asian place over by my house, this new and I ordered a bunch of stuff thinking, oh, my kids will want that. But they love bean and cheese burritos. And I just, I, I, I don't know what I just did, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'll tell you what I'm not doing. I'm not coming back to change nothing out. That's what I ain't doing. I don't know if y'all saw my Instagram uh story not too long ago my son ordered some chick-fil-a right took them to the house and the sitter got there and i was like i'll run and grab y'all something to eat so everybody said their menu i mean what they wanted and so i went and came back and my son was like you got me nuggets i didn't want i wanted a um a chicken club or something a grilled chicken club and i was like oh my god so, but he's always like, you know what, don't worry about it. I just, he's always a good sport about it. So I was like, I'm going to run and get him what he asked for. I went and got it. And, um, yeah, but I ain't doing that plan today. Either you eat one of these burritos or you're going to eat this Asian food. But we got plenty of bread and peanut butter and jelly in the pantry. I'm not making no, I'm not taking no special requests. Kids is eating what they gonna eat today. Okay, we not doing. Mom ain't doing no hoop jumping today. <laughs> so that's where we are, um, and we'll see what happens. Oh. Hi. Hi. Okay. Hold on. I think I gave you the wrong. Perfect. Thank you. So my husband loves Mexican food. 
it don't matter what can well he ain't gonna eat no taco bell or nothing like that but he don't he just like for he and i do too just for whatever reason i just ain't feeling it today so we're about to um we're doing something different I'm, i just don't want to do that today so i'm doing something different um you know i'm trying to figure so my husband has a huge i mean when i say huge i mean huge family so on christmas like when we first started getting married and his family is also older when we first started and we first got married and i first started doing christmases with them it was not a stretch of the imagination for 50 some people to show up i mean and that's just aunties and uncles and kids that don't include uh second cut this it's just that's just the basic family i want to do something different for christmas i want to do it's funny when i was little a couple of christmases we had we spent like in you know like on vacation we didn't do it home now, i have a really small family so it wasn't like a huge deal but you know it's a huge deal when one of the main puzzle pieces is not there. Let me tell you how you know your kids have too much stuff. I asked my son and my daughter, hey, what y'all want for Christmas? I asked them that a couple times. They was like, mm, I don't really know. I have to think about it. Girl, when I was that age, 19, I would rattle off a list this long. Like this, 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 and then had a staple and staple this on to it because it had my additions on it. Like, oh, I forgot about this, I forgot about this. But I just told them, I said, that's because <laughs> little kids these days they get stuff all year round, so it ain't no big deal. They like, I already got that, I already got that. So this year they're not gonna get a whole lot of stuff. We're giving more than what we would normally give. You know, it's super serious when they don't have no more baskets left in Target. I ain't used to that. <laughs> I'm used to, I guess because I do this kind of stuff typically during the week, during the day. So, if that thing got no baskets, it's just like, top of the establishment job. Uh, anyway. So this girl in the store in Target just gave me the plug. Lord, y'all probably knew about this already. She told me that the Target app has this thing where you can scan your receipts in and it'll give you back 1% or something like that. I'm like, girl, shut up. I'm gonna be rich. <laughs> I'm thinking, how far can you go back? Now, I got to read about it because I don't know what that means exactly. I don't know whether you... Because she said something about you get to spend it on other... I don't know. However, I take it. It sounds like a win to me because the Target... So, they got the cartwheel app and the Target app. Both of them have, like, coupons and stuff on them. But I don't ever think about the cartwheel app until I'm in the store at the register. And then I don't halfway know how to work it. So... Um, I could have known about it a long time. I just, it's like, dude, it just so. But today, she told me about that, and I'm, um, I'm gonna go home and scan my thirty-five thousand receipts I didn't did in Target for the last week, and see if I can get to the low one percent back though. First of all, it's hard vlogging in a store, cause for me. A lot of people do it all the time, but I guess I haven't gotten used to it, and I don't do it a lot. I just feel like a creep sometimes because I don't want people thinking I'm filming them specifically. Like, precious, I'm not. I'm not looking at you. I'm. Not, I'm not filming you. At least I'm not trying to specifically. You might be in the background or something, but I'm not. 
as a matter of fact I dodge um, seeing other people in the film just because I don't want nobody to feel uncomfortable because I might feel some kind of way I don't know I don't know you know we are me on the cameras these days anyway uh, I'm gonna get better at the in-store vlogging because right now I feel like I'm giving y'all nothing but that car action <laughs> so we'll see